So mean value theorem. Open interval again, yes. So f is differentiable on a comma b, then that f of b minus f of a equals that well actually not exists a c such that it equals f prime c times b minus a. Now this this guy very important. This is actually a direct result of the mean of the Rolle's theorem. So if you're wondering why I had my book open, it's because I had to look up a certain fee. So Rolle's theorem, all we need to do is find a function that's differentiable and that at both endpoints, they're zero. And then we can do a lot of amazing tricks, which are, but the thing is, the problem is finding the function in the first place. So if you have a test and you have a question, derive a mean value, derive something using Rolle's theorem, that interesting result, you may have to use a little bit of thinking because you have to think of it. I think the, the most difficult part in mathematics, in my opinion, is the creativity. Intuition, very difficult part. Geometry, very difficult part. But my, 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 my belief, creativity, very difficult. So, and also as a ma mathematician, you never have to memorize anything. You just have to understand it. And then you can re-derive whatever you want, as long as it all works. But you don't have to memorize anything, because the math becomes a part of your soul. <laughs> so, f of x. So just apply it to the Rolle's theorem, to the function. f of x uh, minus f of x. Uh, e of x. Yeah. Minus f of a. Minus f of a. Minus x. Ah, this is a big complicated one. Bah. Minus x minus a. F of b minus f of a over b minus a. <coughs> so you plug in a, this guy will be equal to zero. You plug in b, this guy will equal to zero. You, you, then you can apply, and this is differentiable. Each of these guys, f is differentiable. So these guys are all differentiable. <coughs> so you, all you need to do is apply Rolle's theorem. Plug in c for x. f of c minus f of a minus x minus a f of b minus f of a b minus a even only if wait, this guy is getting equal to zero Theorem says that the derivative be equal to zero. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone make mistakes. I was wondering why. This guy, f prime, this guy is deleted because it's a constant. This guy becomes, this guy is constant minus x of f of b minus f of a, b minus a. And this guy equals zero if and only if f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a b minus a. <coughs> and that means just multiply this by or b minus a. And this is if and only if f prime of c uh, of b minus a equals f of b minus f of a. There you go. Uh, I remember when I was very little, I was very dumb. And 
I think education in America at high school, not very good. Not as tough as schools like, not as tough as many other schools. At least the school that I've been to. And I, something that I really regret is that there was no derivations. So I took this as truth. Even though it's very easy to prove. It is very sad that I took it as truth. But you should know this. Rolls theorem, direct result of mean value theorem. Also notice, so we know that f of b minus f of a is less than or equal to, or actually is, is equal to f of c times b minus a, and this is f prime of b minus a. What does this look like? It looks like, almost looks like uniform continuity. But there's one key. If all these, for any x, f prime of c is less than or equal to m, if the derivatives are bounded, <coughs> then f of b minus f of a equals, is less than or equal to m times b minus a. This is Lipschitz, and this is uniformly continuous which is very great, because we need uniformly continuous in many theorems, many problems, many examples. <coughs> okay. Whew. Anything else I have to do? Oh, mean value theorem, rules theorem. I think today I will leave it off very early, because I just finished uh, six midterms in a paper. But it was a paper on archaeology. So that was fun. Well, math is fun too. Much more fun than archaeology. But archaeology is different. And you should have different things once in a life. So I think I'm going to end it early today because I don't want to go into integration until next week. Because it's going to start a brand new subject. And it's going to take a And I should. There's a lot to talk about integration. Because you have to talk about Riemann integrability. You have to talk about how integrables, integrals don't exist. You have to talk about partitions. I think that is best safe for next week. So thank you very much. I hope I, I uh, this material is going to get easier. Last week was a lot more difficult material, but this week Lipschitz functions are fun and some differentiability. So I think we're gonna keep on going with the easier level ones, but then we're gonna but. As you know, the course is coming that I'm taking is coming near a close, so the material is going to get much more difficult before it is before it's finished. So, uh, if you're paying attention to the lectures, you should be prepared for some difficult things, because you have an entire uh, the entire discussion on. There's a lot, a lot more left. So, thank you for listening, Math Ninja out. <laughs>